Hi, this is Sean, and in this video, we're gonna ask this question. Can you sell a house with a property tax lien on it? And we're gonna cover all that and a lot more in this video. So think about this for a minute. The county has put a tax lien certificate on my property. Oh no, I need to get out of this property. I'm gonna show you not only how to do that, a little double secret James Bond way. I don't know if James Bond did the Vulcan thing, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm also gonna show you how you and your family can make big money doing this. So through this video, what I'm gonna do is methodically walk you through the whole process of, oh my gosh, I got a lien on my property to, Oh my gosh, I made a ton of money. So stick around the very end. I'm going to show you exactly where to find this and how to do this. All right, let's get right into this. You come home and you're having a bad hair day, you know, if, if you have enough hair, but you know, there you go. And your wife just tells you that there's a tax lien against your property. But you're like, what the heck is going on? You know, or we're trying to sell the property or what have you. It's actually not that big of a deal. The ethical side of tax liens and tax deeds, it's actually really cool. Because one of the things I hear from people all the time is, when you're buying a tax lien certificate, aren't you taking advantage of somebody that's down on their luck? Not at all, okay? I'm not causing anything to happen with tax lien certificates at all. When you fail to pay property taxes, and everybody has property taxes, let's face it, the county needs this money, okay? So let's just backtrack a little bit. What are they using this money for? You've got schools, um, roads, fire department, police departments, hospitals, parks and recs, and it goes on and on and on. And the county says, we need this money, okay? And if you're not gonna pay, we have to do something. So I'm gonna go all the way back to literally the 1600s. The oldest one I saw was in, I do believe it was in Brooklyn, New York, and dated 1698. Um, it was a museum I saw, and they were collecting property taxes back then because they had to fund all this stuff that they, we had over here. We stole this idea from England, but in England, the property taxes were stuck to the individual and not the property. Here in the United States, well, in the colonies, okay, they couldn't do that because people moved around all the time. So the county's like, we're just gonna stick it to the, to the property, which actually set it up for an absolutely phenomenal investment strategy for everybody. So what happens is this, the county says, hey, we're gonna put a lien again. Don't worry about it, nothing's going on but you're gonna have a penalty or an interest rate on there. And you've got at least three to five years to pay this off. What? Yeah, they don't sit there and say, hey, everybody gather your stuff, get out. Okay, what they're saying is you're, you're, we're gonna give you some time. Now, the only reason the county is willing or can give you time is because of the way the rest of it is set up. So the county says, we need the money, we're gonna give you time because Joe Public is gonna have the opportunity to give us that money. In a lot of ways, the property owner doesn't even know that I'm buying a lien because there's already a lien against the property. I didn't cause anything to happen for my be buying a lien. I'm actually buying the property owner time. Think about this for a minute. If you and I weren't willing to put up the money for those delinquent taxes, then the, person, the county would have one so source and one source only is to foreclose on the property. You having a lien on your property is not a big deal. What I'm hoping this shows you is, not only is that not a big deal, but there's an opportunity here. Now, obviously, I want you to pay your property taxes on your property, okay? So we can go in there, pull some for refinancing. You can sell the property out of escrow. They'll take it out. When you sell any property, all of the taxes are paid up to current during that um, day of escrow, okay? On several of my properties, I failed to pay the property taxes because I wasn't gonna own it that long, and I just said, you guys just take it out of escrow. It doesn't stop me from selling the property. Um, they're just gonna pull it out of escrow, like I said. So it's really not a big deal. What I want you to glean from this is not, oh my gosh, I owe the property taxes to the county, is, wait a second, what's happening with all these taxes? Years ago, when I started, Finally making money, I decided I'm gonna decorate my house with more than just um, lawn furniture and what have you. I was gonna be coming to do it. And so I bought all this really nice furniture and one of the pieces really just didn't work. It wasn't opening right, it was a bed and there was, anyways, it, it was, and I paid a lot of money for this. And so after several months of going back and forth uh, with Macy's, it was Macy's, they finally said, we're gonna send somebody by, we're gonna pick that thing out, you can come pick something else out. I said, okay. So these guys come in there and they, they, they're disassembling the bed 
And I'm like, you know, this is a brand new bed. I mean, it was a lot of money. I'm like, you guys, what do you do with this? You know, this is in San Diego. And we're going to collect all the different furniture that, you know, for whatever reason didn't fit right. And we bring them up to a, a warehouse in Los Angeles and we sell them all. So I'm sitting there going, where's the warehouse? So that's what you should be looking at. He's like, okay, we owe taxes on this property, but what happens to all the other people that aren't paying their property taxes? So what I found out is I go up to Los Angeles and buy a bunch of pro uh, furniture that had a little scratch on it that somebody paid full price on and I get it at a discount. Having a tax lien on your property should be an opportunity. Again, when God gives you lemons, you make lemonade. It's up to you. How you frame it is how you live it and all those things. So it's like, well, yeah, we owe some taxes on this. Let's pay it off. But you got to ask yourself, okay, if somebody else is in my situation, the county has to bring those up. By law, they have to bring them out of sale. So now that I've got out of my situation, I should go down and put money up for somebody else's taxes so the county can continue to function. The county's not gonna go out of business because you didn't pay your property taxes, but if enough people do, it's not a good situation. But let me tell you how beneficial this is for everybody involved. I think it was 1998, I can't remember the exact date, Look it up there, write it in the comments. Matter of fact, if you love this information, say, yes, I love this information. I don't even know if you can do the thumbs down or whatever. Make a comment, I want better information. I don't care. Get the algorithms going. That back in 1998, Orange County, California had to file bankruptcy. Don't know why, don't care. Okay, let me tell you how they got out of bankruptcy. They offered a supplemental tax lien sale and bailed them out of um, a foreclosure immediately. Property taxes are essential, they're necessary. The county can't function without them. By you and I being willing to put up the money for the county, they're willing to give us that interest rate. It continues for them to function at their regular basis. And when the property owner comes in, to satisfy those delinquent taxes, boom, everybody wins. We're buying them time, okay? Four to five years in some cases. I get the interest rate from them. I take the county, so I'm not causing anything to happen. So think about this. Does the county win? Yeah. Does the property owner win? We buy them time and do you win? Everybody wins all the way around. That's the way you need to look at it. There are so many facets to this investment strategy that it's become its own little niche in a lot of ways. Now, I've taught more people how to invest in tax lien certificates than anybody face-to-face -face like this um, than anybody on the planet. Literally, I've taught people in Singapore, Australia, Europe, all over the world how to invest in tax liens here in the United States. They don't have them anywhere else in the world, right? God bless America, we have this availability. But I want you to think about the not so much the complexity, but almost the simplicity of this. The county needs this money, okay? What are we gonna do? We don't wanna take their property. Um, we wanna give them some time, you know, usually down cycles for an individual, two to five years. This will give them time to get back on their feet. Oh, I know, we'll offer them to the public. They are the ones that are gonna provide the time to make this happen. We'll offer a nice interest rate because we're getting paid it. 16, 18, 25, 36%. So when this property owner does come in, they're paying those big fat penalties, but we get that money. If they don't, make no mistake about it, there's no ambiguity. After five years, you will lose the property or I will gain the property either or. But at that point, you know, kind of enough is enough. Hopefully you've got an interest in this and you think, wow, this is really fascinating. Where do I find these liens? Where do I find the deeds? How do I purchase this? There's so many levels to that. And so I've created a brand new course. It's a free course. Don't worry about it. It's my gift to you. You just click the link down below. I will walk you step by step where, where the auctions are, how they're held, what the interest rates are, where are the best places to invest in tax lien certificates right now and how to provide you and your family with financial independence. In this course, you will learn how to buy a property at 10 to 15% of value, own it free and clear. Just click the link down below. That's HigginsMethod.com. This is Sean Higgins saying God bless and good luck.